The following is a list of Moors who have been kidnapped and are being held for a demand of income. The demand of income is being made against the family as well as through fraudulent submissions of documents alleging that they are caring for the people in some sort of long-term care fashion. These Moors have been kidnapped literally off the street by employees of various corporations that are guised as counties, cities, towns, township, boroughs. These names that we have all been mentally conditioned to believe our government are not. They are exactly what they say they are. They are municipal corporations. And as such, they, if you do the research, you will find that they are foreign corporations on American soil. Therefore, they do not have standing nor jurisdiction to make a demand of income or even bring a claim against the Aboriginal Indigenous people or any people on American soil, this making their actions criminal. However, As Moors, we must bring these crimes to the forefront via civil complaints against these unalienable constitutional treaty secured rights of the people, Aboriginal, Indigenous Moors of this land. If the municipal corporation has been provided, then we reference that along with the union state. If we don't have the municipal corporation where the employee worked that actually did the kidnapping, then we just reference the union state that is bound and obligated to protect the people from foreign and domestic invasion. This list comprises Moors who have been kidnapped and are being held hostage by employees of various corporations on American soil, which is a violation of the American Constitution 1791, and it is a treaty violation, being that we are talking about Moorish Americans, Aboriginal, Indigenous to this land, who have been kidnapped by employees of foreign corporation on American soil. This makes this, this making this an international issue because you have two nations with one nation warring against another. Therefore, this is an international issue. If you have a family member near or far within your immediate family or one of the family that you know and you would like them added to this list, please send an email to mhhs, eyes wide open, at gmail.com. In the subject line, put kidnap more, And please provide us with their free national appellation, the municipal corporation that the employee is operating through that kidnapped them, along with the union state that this corporation is in purview to. So with that, we start out with our sister, Abkare Bay, kidnapped through a joint venture between Memphis Corporation and Shelby Corporation under the purview of Tennessee. Daoud Il, under the purview of Arkansas, Amir Moslemin Il Kusu Ra Kushbe, under the purview of Missouri, Asar Patan Amin Rabe, under the purview of Ohio, Jeremy Paylor Il, Terry Thorne Bay, J. McCall Brooks Bay, Joseph Kanade Il, Kush Amir Bunch Il, Emmanuel Billings Bay, Yasin Kalik Alamin Il, Michael Curry Bay, all under the purview of North Carolina. Noble Crisco Ill, under the purview of New Jersey. Messiah Aziz Ill and Crystal Ill, uh, both kidnapped through a joint venture between Mercer Corporation, Freehold Corporation, and Trenton Corporation under the purview of New Jersey. We're still waiting on an update regarding baby Patricia Bay, kidnapped by Atlantic Corporation under the purview of New Jersey, Eldridge Teron Fisher Ill, Marquis Sevillon Ill under the purview of Indiana, Solomon Ill Bay 
and Mumi Abube under the purview of Texas, William Barrett Ill under the purview of Virginia, Bomani Abidwil Ill kidnapped by Chesapeake Corporation under the purview of Virginia, Che Ray Bay under the purview of West Virginia, Thomas Lee Bay under the purview of California, Victor Eduardo Aguaye Juarez Ill kidnapped by Harlem Corporation under the purview of Georgia, Natro Tahuti Ill kidnapped by Benner Corporation under the purview of Pennsylvania, Rennie Bay kidnapped uh, by Hamilton Corporation under the purview of, um, I'm sorry, Hamilton Ontario Corporation under the purview, well, actually, it's um, Hamilton Corporation. The state would be uh, Ontario, and that's um, actually, uh, that would be a union state, and it's um, on American soil that is referenced as Canada. And last but not least, Brian George Mills Bay kidnapped by Glade, by the employees working through Glades Corporation under the purview of Florida. Thank you very much. All right, Islam, 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 and welcome to MHHS. This is your host, Annie Ina L, along with my co-host, Ms. Raim Alice L. Peace and love, and the E, peace and love, Morris. Peace and love. Uh, Ras Mariah Bay. Uh, <clears throat> it's long peace and love, and you forgot to mention, because you're going to add it. <laughs> uh, oh, I Anwar am. Sir Wilson. Yeah, 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 but I wanted to mention Anwar Sir Wilson out of the Pennsylvania um, territory. Yeah. It's long and, peace and uh, love, y'all. And... Islam, peace and love to all Moors. Islam. Um, just an update, as Raj said, there was one more that needs to be added to the list, and that is Anwa Sarwithan Bay. I'm assuming from the Philadelphia Corporation, kidnapped by employees of the Philadelphia yes. Corporation, huh? Yes. Yeah. All right, all right. Um, well, we got one, one added and um, one released. Actually, you could be one minute. Say that again. I I'm sorry to interrupt. He's been there. We were supposed to have added it a while back and didn't. But that being said, but um, you're going. Oh. To... Okay. Oh, all right, all right. So that's um. It'll be updated for uh, next week's broadcast. And also, we have, uh, I got an email last week sometime that Bomani Abidwil Ill has been liberated and is no longer being held hostage. And um, I have yet to talk to him. Um, looking forward to talking to him and, um, the, you know, just getting some uh, information. Um, you know, just about his well-being after being in there. I, I, I'm, I believe he's been there for maybe a year or two, possibly longer. Um, so uh, I just want to touch base with him and make sure that he's uh, recovering, so to speak, from that ordeal. A uh, big shout out to our family listening over near Great Britain, Islam. Uh, of course, we know Great Britain is a corporation along with every single construct that we are aware of today. Um, Islam to our family uh, over near the construct, corporate construct known as South Africa, Japan, the Netherlands, Islam, Brother Albert the Philippines, Bangladesh, um, the media, the corporate construct of Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados, uh, Cuba, Panama, Brazil, Venezuela, 
and to family we have yet to connect with. Islam, thank you so much for joining us, listening, uh, especially you boys over there near Great Britain. Islam to you. They think it's 2 o'clock in the morning and you guys are up and listening to the broadcast. Islam to you. <laughs> All right. So um, let's see. Um, let's see. Update is the, um, I said this last week, and um, I just want to repeat it. Um, because of some issues with Gmail, I am no longer able to do um, mass emails to people. They're, and I only just realized this. Um, you probably haven't been getting the email notifications since February. I want to say somewhere around the 14th, I think, was the last one that was able to go out and all uh, uh, my mass emails are being blocked unless I enter everybody individually and then do a group mailing, and I just don't have the time or resources to do that for everyone. So what I have done is the syllabus for the show or the broadcast is published on moorishnews.wordpress. Um, if there are any documents, you can also download them from there. All right. Um, this week and the, tomorrow, we will be at the um, National Theater. And let's see, for the next two or three weeks as well. So make sure, and uh, if you're near the, what was that? All right. If you're near the um, National Theater near New York City, make sure and check us out. The doors open at 6.30. Class begins all the announcements. Um, this Tonight's broadcast is a Freestyle Tuesday. This is an opportunity for the people to put issues on the table that is important to our listening audience. So um, I'm going to start off um, with my Freestyle Tuesday subject matter. Um, huh. it's, I, uh, I I I became. I think last month I caught an advertisement for this 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 documentary. I think Time the Khalif Browder documentary. It's supposed to be either six or seven weeks, and it's being. Um, Sponsored by Jay Z and some other people, and it's regarding this. And 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 my, I was talking with my daughter today, and she was telling me how she had heard about this, you know, some time ago, and I never heard about it. Um, I didn't watch it. I got enough from talking to my daughters. To know what it was about, and it, um, it was just to me very saddening to know that um, you know. I mean, I know things are like this are going on, but to, to it's like another Eric Gardner all right in your face, and still our people do not wake up. So, you know, it's about a young sixteen-year-old boy who's abducted off of the street literally by employees of the New York Corporation and is held in prison for three years pretty much because he refuses to admit to uh, uh, stealing a backpack, something that he did not do. But to be held prisoner for three years because of a backpack, three years, because he would not say he stole it, because he really didn't, to be held for three years. Uh, some of the video footage that is being shown on this broadcast literally comes from Rikers Island. And it shows this young, innocent 16-year-old boy beaten by 
the guard and you know subsequently by the 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 the, the, the other prisoner um all of this going on for three years. His mother, oh, my God, I can't even imagine what she went through. She didn't know. She didn't have enough information. She had to borrow money to get her son out on bond. And just as she goes to the bond people with the money that she borrows from a neighbor, they revoke the bond and refuse to release him. So he's trapped in this hellhole. For three years, all because he refuses to admit to stealing a backpack. I was trying to see if I can find the broadcast online because I was going to write something up and publish it on Facebook so that people can watch it. And what I found was um, they had a, a, a press hearing or uh, before the, I guess, the initial hearing of this particular, the first episode, and you had Jay-Z and, you know, two other people, but you also had the CEO of the city of New York, which is the mayor, and you had the CEO of New York Union State, which is the governor, sitting at this meeting, and you also had a former United States State's Attorney General Colin, Colin, Powell, Colin Powell sitting there talking about a young man, and this is recent, uh, who was literally kidnapped off the street, young man, brutally beaten, and they're sitting there talking about it's a broken criminal justice system. It was never a crime, so it couldn't be criminal. The crime was that this young boy was abducted off of the street by employees of a municipal corporation for the sole purpose of generating revenue. And you had the CEO of both New York City and New York State sitting there talking about a broken criminal justice system when these people work for them. They work for them. And it's like it's like inviting your murderer to speak on behalf of how you were murdered. And people still are asleep. People are like the vast majority of our people are so complacent. They, 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 they are, we, we, I mean, there are more conscious and unconscious who pretty much seem to just be obsessed with being noticed. Forget that people are dropping like flies next to one. Their objective is to be noticed. And they get into this nationality and birthright for ulterior motives. Meanwhile, we got people like Khalif Browder, who's a, a 16-year-old boy, abducted off the street, beaten three years of his life. And you got people obsessed with being noticed. And that's why they're in this movement. And that's why they're, they 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 and all the functions, they, they call into all of the shows just to be noticed. This boy was beaten and brutalized for three years to the point where when he got out, he couldn't, two years later, he committed suicide. And we got people who want to be noticed. people need to wake up. It's either that or be a lot of people, a lot of people who just get taken out one way or another by Mother Nature, a natural, you know, 
because that is not what this is about. This is about you going inside of yourself and finding yourself. There are no martyrs here. There are no more prophet noble Drew Ali going to be coming along. He's the last one. There's no need for any more. He left us enough. People need to wake up. This is so not a game. It's so not a game. This is not about you being the center of attention for everybody to see and know what you're doing. We don't care. We got our own issues and our own lives to get in order. So wake up. Islam. Islam. And I think I think that's probably the most important part that um you know we have to really consider what people are doing for the Moors as a whole while at the same time handling their own stuff going in on going on in their life. Look at the people who are quote unquote active, you know, that you might not even know their name. But they got stuff going on in their life that you wouldn't want to be dealing with. But they still maintain studying, they still maintain, you know, making sure they support and do everything that they're supposed to do with regard to living by these principles. So the you know when when we look at the the opportunists and the 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 attention people that are not assisting in the upliftment, right? Um, you know their 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 judgment should be we go around and find the person who has the worst situation and then let them have to deal with it. Because a lot of people, like you're saying, take this as as jokes. You know, they take this like it, it's just it's just like joining some other thing or whatever. When you know the backlash of not adhering to the principles is severe. You know what I mean, there's people even learning some lessons right now because they denied or or didn't completely take the time to know what it is that they're doing, what they're they're ingesting as far as information and get themselves caught up. Like we're like we were talking about the brother who was messing with dirty moors out here and he's in court right now. Dealing with fraud stuff Like right now And his position is You know he He's he's so embarrassed That he went and dealt with those people That he doesn't even want to come and ask anybody For help to help him deal with anything Like he's choosing on his own To deal with it on his own Because he knows that He went and messed with some people That he shouldn't have messed with and that that's how some people are going to learn cuz to keep keep stating that this is your birthright this is your birthright noble Jewali is your prophet this is your divine and national movement keep thinking that it's somebody else's and somebody's got something for you and you will see how fast you have nothing and have nobody because you took people's kindness as weaknesses. You took people's, you know, um, supporting you as take advantage of that. So it's important that Moors really look at these principles for real. Because 
love, truth, peace, freedom, justice, that's the highest principles known. And if you think that violating one of those is going to get you anything, you, you have another thing coming to you. And you're not even going to expect it when it comes to you. So be mindful, study, and remember that whatever you're dealing with, somebody is dealing with ten times more than what you're dealing with. So think before you just, you know, bother people about you got issues. Think what that person is dealing with that maybe they're not telling you about. Because for sure you wouldn't want to deal with what they're dealing with. You'll keep your BS that you're dealing with to not deal with what they're dealing with. I yield the floor as well. Wow. True. True, yeah. So I say that's important, you know, because um, it's crazy. A lot of times people are like, you know, they tell you the stories about what they're going through. And either you're like, damn, well, you know, the answer is here. You know, it's already been given. You need to check this rep Or, you know, it's like, look, I really can't take on your situation because I intentionally try not to get into that situation. You know what I mean? And, and don't have it. So I might not have the experience with that. I might have the principal knowledge, you know, but the exercising of it, you know, that's that's for each individual to experience themselves, no different than any other thing, you know. And we gave the example before with the weights, you know. So you could say this is the reference, this is what you need. But, you know, if you bench pressing, like you said, you know, you can't really try to add on too much to somebody else and you got to deal with what you got to deal with, you know. Because, um, like it's been said, you know, well, what is the goal? What's the, what's, you know, What's the end goal? Like, what are more is doing? And it's more so, like, what are you doing? And why aren't you letting people know what more is doing? You know what I mean? It's not about attention because, I mean, in the essence, we need to acknowledge the good that's in us and what we're doing, you know, as a nation. If we are a nation, you know, um, we got to acknowledge our people, you know, no different than, than Europeans do, you know. So they got network that's crazy, you know, so they can know that McDonald's is going to advertise on their cousin Fox 5 or whatever, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's networking and not so much about, you know, just attention, but focusing on the, the, the great that we do have because, I mean, like, you know, in all reality, it was been time to put in work, and, and I didn't see too much of anything being done. So it's like we got to look at the good that we, we do have because, you know, when Sandra Bland got shot down, I mean, and, and there's so many horror stories that go with our people. You know, it's, it's almost like you can either become desensitized from it all or, you know, it makes it, it brings out that, that energy in you where you feel alive from all that's going on right now. And, uh, you know, it gets to a point where it's like you realize as a, as an individual or, or, you know, as yourself, you can't do everything. The power is in the nation as a collective, like, you know, as a, as a network or, you know, as a collective body of people, you know? So all of these things, have to support each other. So it's not about any one individual, um, you know, like Noble Dry Lee said more is you need each other, you know, you're going to need each other more later. It wasn't a matter of if you want to need each other or anything like that. Like it wasn't about once. It was about necessities when he said that. So we have to recognize that, and I know a lot of us do, a lot of us don't. But it's like, you know, do we do, uh, like, can we stop all the ills of the world? Or do we need to just worry about ourselves as individuals? And in doing that, we can come together collectively and everybody has something to add on, 
you know, certain a certain frequency to bring to our situations. I mean, that's what I see. I mean, it's kind of like it's an astro causation that's going on where we're being forced to do that, like, you know, everybody. And I know that's not going to be everybody, you know,'s uh, goal and agenda. You know, some people who come to the tree or to the fountain to get their the 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 jar of water or the apples or whatever, and keep them moving on their way. You know, they got the nourishment for their path and their sojourn, and they keep it moving. You know, some people, you know, stay by the tree. You know, or whatever. But I just say that um, we in the days where yeah, it's true. It's about doing, not so much about the attention. You know, of individuals. But the attention as a collective, and not even that we worried about attention like that, but acknowledging, like it says in the Circle uh, Seven, Holy Quran, look for the good in others, and give the greatest good of yourself. You know, so until you see something different, what is there to really, you know, be out here hating for? Like, what's the point in that? But like you said, cool Joe. Uh, if you violate any of the principles, you're going to get the opposite backlash from it. And um, that's really what I see going on. But um, like I said, certain ills happen every day, and, and all we could do as individuals is try to stay out the way of that or, you know, get busy on the collective, you know. So it's those times. With that, for now, I yield the floor. Islam, <clears throat> Islam, I think um, what we're speaking of here, uh, as Kujo's mentioned, as you are mentioning, um, is simply principles, just principles. And I think <clears throat> this, when you talk about, you know, um, being noticed or just being heard or whatever like that, you know, um, that's egocentric stuff. But I think that that, that comes along with that. <clears throat> is like I notice people want to be trailblazers. Like they were like, oh, we're gonna blaze the trail and do something new, even to the point of starting new government. That's the real, we've been talking about that for forever. Um, and uh, the point is, is that uh, the principles have already been laid down, <laughs> and without without obtaining those and and. And, and utilizing those principles that are universal, you know, that causes problems. That causes a problem. When you talk about unity, when you talk about family, you know, people can run their mouth and talk about it, talk about it, talk about it, uh, not knowing, that, you know, that p- political allegiance means family and nationality acknowledgement. That's really what it does mean, and I think that's why the prophet said, well, I'll tell you, you're going to need each, you need each other, but you will be needing each other more later. <clears throat> so he also said, uh, if you're the only one, be the only one. He also said uh, that um, that we, we that he's given us enough to save a nation, but just save yourself first. You just go out and save yourself. And as you mentioned, by doing that, then we can come together in the same uh, 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 direction, <laughs> down the same narrow road, it appears, um, because we follow principles, and principles don't change. So like I said, people want to be the next new, I don't know, new, new noble Dr. Ali and stuff like that. So they didn't, or, or the next trailblazer of something that's already blazed. I mean, it's there for us already. And, and I think that's part of part, uh, a great deal of part of the problem. But, I mean, that's identifying the consequences of the problem because, you know, um, it's not like it's new. You know, it's not like it just started yesterday. Um, it's, it's like it's that if we were to go and, and deal with the principles, which are universal, that they'll change that the prophet definitely uh, informed us about, <laughs> then we wouldn't even be having these problems because we followed that. And as Pujo said, you know, beginning with the uh, love, 
truth, peace, freedom, and justice, which are the highest principles. So we need to attain to that, and then all else will definitely come unto it. Islam. Um, indeed. Yeah. And that's crazy because there's so many going back to the to the young brethren who got um kidnapped over a book bag that he didn't steal. This is what I'm saying. Like what's going on out here has like a lot of ramifications like to the injury that's caused by people. Some people go so numb because this is it, it could make you feel like you know, it's insanity, like, you know, you know you're innocent, but, you know, excuse me, people are still putting you through this process of trying to make you out to be something you're not. And it's like to feel like you have to prove something to a group of people like that is self-defeating in the, in the, in the essence. Now, I don't want to say it's no hope. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying, like, Look at what happened. He got the press point where he took his life. And in, in, in what? He was, at what, 19? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. you know, he wasn't even doing a life sentence. And that's how it made him feel. So and what was a 16-year-old doing on life is out of it anyway? So, I mean, like, you know, it is what it is. I mean, it's it's some ill stuff going on out here. At the um, at the cause of European or Roman agendas in play, like yeah, that's the fact. You know what I'm saying? And it has to something has to be done about it because it's like when you're in the situation and you're fighting and you know you're right, but everybody's turning a blind eye. Like that's that's and that happens often. Like, a lot of our people are absolutely innocent in the eyes of the law, you know, and and they're wrongfully jailed or forced in prison or kidnapped or kidnapped or, you know, man stolen or however you want to say it. And this is ruining, you know, people. The, the reverberation of those actions are ruining people's mentality, spirit. They go numb. So like who those saying you never know what somebody's dealing with, you know, and 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 then you gotta have a strong inner character to deal with that, or some patience, or all of these things. So, I mean, just well, imagine if youth go through that, and and I know it's 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 not cool to miss any part of your freedom at all, um, but you hear about situations like that when people serve in life sentences. You know, um, I'm not saying, you know, three years is nothing. That's that's a lot of time that you could be doing some productive things with, you know. But um, it's just sad well, when you I look at all the notifications. Can I ask you something? Wouldn't you call that slavery, a form of slavery? Because I, w- I, I would call it servitude, involuntary yeah. servitude. And, and right. I would say it's it's what people think slavery is. I would say that because they they don't, you know, it's something that has to be qualified. It's like so many things have to be qualified. The dualities or the duplicities that have been put out in the world are really real right now. So, you know, you have uh, the perception of slavery. It's like the perception of American, the perception of a Mason. So it's like if somebody says they're a Mason, you gotta ask from or consider that in two, in two, two from two different views. Saying like, you know, are you an operative or are you a, a large initiated? You know what I'm saying. So the word itself kind of leaves it in in, in ambience until it's clarified. Just like American, you know, um, we know that it really means the copper complexion people. The perception that. Even the copper complexion people have, and the descendants thereof, um, or had, shall I say, is that that applied to the pilgrim or the European or the Englishman or the Germanic tribes. 
and uh, that's not necessarily true. So when we say slavery, we got to keep in mind that that's the Slavics. So what yeah. happened is, I would say it was a, a, a it was an attack, and it is an attack on our status or a state because we're not Slovakians. So for them to try to reduce the Al Moroccans or Americans to a Slovakian status, you know, that's that's denationalization in itself. However, you know, um I would say at a more in a more accurate sense it's involuntary servitude what people's perception of slavery has been because we weren't all slaves, you know, there were free Moors. Um Sindri right. Free Moor speaks to that tune. Um so and then and then you also had Europeans who were helping Moors get out of the jails. If I could um reference real quick Sex and race on uh where we at sex and race they talk about uh the ninetieth governor of Carolina, uh Cole Bleece. Yeah. Now see this is again back to duality because when you pull up his profile on the internet, you know, they, they're referring to him as a as a quote unquote Negro folk. But this was a European who was, you know, like freeing Moors out of the jail because they were unlawfully incarcerated or jailed. So sex and race, uh, volume, well, what volume is this right here? Okay, yeah, volume three on page uh, 85. It talks about cold bleach. And um, they they say, let me, let me just quote this for you. It says, in private life, most of the blatant Negrophobes show no prejudice. And are usually, I hear a lot of feedback, too. Um, so it says, in private life, most of the blatant Negrophobes show no prejudice and are usually well-liked by the so-called Negroes, quote-unquote, who know them well. Sometimes such go out of the way to aid them as cold bleach. Later, when governor of South Carolina turned out, and I know we're not Negro, black, or color, but just put this in perspective. It says that he turned out, quote-unquote, Negro convicts by the thousands, saying that they had been put in there unjustly. One of the most violent attackers of the, quote-unquote, Negro in Congress and on the political stump of his own state had a, quote-unquote, Negro family. Okay, so, you know, the way they project these things that were happening, uh, we have to reexamine that, too. Because I know, like I said, I'm just quoting Sex and Race, Volume 3. Um, I know I'm not Negro, Black, and Color. We're not Negro, Black, and Color. I'm just saying, looking at this from with refinement, you know, there were Europeans that were trying to see Morris get free from these types of ills of being false imprisoned. I can't say our salvation is in them, but I say that when they see us on it, some of them are getting in line, you know. Uh, excuse me. And um, I wouldn't depend on it much often because um, they're going into a, a mode where they're trying to or have been in a mode where they're in like an absolute self-preservation, you know what I mean? Like they're trying to preserve their, their, their pale skin people of Europe. So um at the same time humanity depends on, you know, the Moors, specifically the Moors woman, you know. So I mean mm-hmm. there's a lot that goes with it and uh I would say that yes, in the essence, you know, because I seen we've seen some things that look like what they call slavery. Like I remember traveling through so-called North Carolina, and he still had the chain gang on the side of the highway picking up trash off the highway, shackled by the feet together. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and then you got places, it's, it's, it's all over. So, I mean, you know, um, I would say that that energy still does exist, but I think it's a, very, a really weird energy because we spoke about this before, even on my TL, it's like, you know, people don't try to capture something they don't like, meaning that, like, people have parrots 
Um, they they have birds and they have fish and they have uh, fish tanks and all of these things because they like the fish. So they want to capture it and, and, and be in possession of it, you know what I mean, or have that access to it all of the time, not because they hate the fish, because they like it. And that's some weird psychology when you look at it because something that you like so much – you're going to put it in a situation where it can't live free like it's supposed to. I mean, if you really, really love or like this, this species or this parrot or this bird or this these fish or whatever, if you really had love for their existence, you would let them exist in their natural environment. And I'm not knocking anybody who has these things. I'm just saying we have to, you know, keep the concept clear of why What's going on is going on. So at the same time, they are about your oppression. It's because it's some uh, uh, a, a weird psychology they, they of them liking you at the same time. You know, I don't want to say they love us. I think it's a like or obsession. You know, because um, you seen this from times in memorial or from times when Europeans first came on the scene. You know, whereas they always um had an admiration for the Moors as teachers, you know, they're using our scientists and their secret societies and what the so called secret societies. Uh they have festivals where they, you know, paint their face as if they're Moors. Um and then they did some other wicked things where they were, you know, mutilating and causing incisions and preserving body parts of Moors. Like this was a weird Infatuation, if you will, you know they had a weird uh, affinity or attraction or do for us, and it's sad because it's like the evidence of um, attraction as the gift and the curse, if you will. I would say, I mean, in certain aspects. So yeah, so-called slavery, servitude, like yeah, that's that's still going on today. Um, and. So-called plantations. Okay, well, I, I brought that up. I brought that up because uh, I'm trying to get back to the principles of bought, which is what we're, you know, what we're speaking on earlier. Uh, Prophet Noah Ali said, you know, when when you're talking about, you said like that's denationalization to even to even be or call us slaves or whatever like that. That's denationalization. So the prophet said that, you know, if you uh, answer up to these Negro colored blacks and other things that they delude to slavery, he said they all delude to slavery. So that's back to that principle, knowing that you can't answer, that you have to answer up to your nationality, right? And and so when you, when you talk about kidnapping, now when mm-hmm. we have that, that, that recording on, it's right there that these are the people who have been kidnapped. Now, some people say, oh, no, they did something wrong. Well, if you don't do the study to know that these, that these people who are nabbing them off the street like this are not government. See, and this, yeah. is what, this is part of the problem, too, not knowing who is who and what is what. So with uh, that being not... there, yes, mm-hmm. and then not knowing anything about law, divine law, or law of the land, and why the law of the land was even written or put put scribed, you know, and then going back to, like you said, well, these are the original Slavics, and you're talking about zoos and, 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 and containing people. See, that's a whole nother level of, 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 of a less, of, of a, a, a class in a way to even know why they even started menageries and zoos based on, the uh, or what we call zoos today, which were menageries, based on breeding, laboratory, you know, tests, and all kinds of things like that. Because prior to that, there was no, like you said, there was no keeping uh, animals caged or anything of that nature at all whatsoever. So then that would be other lessons about what you're saying with that psychology of you know, wanting to cage something. But basically, um, as far as the principle goes, that it, and I, I don't have it word for word in my, you know, it, it, it's in the lesson, I believe it's a uh, message, no, divine warning uh, to the nation, 
where it mentions if you answer up to Negro color beef, Negro color black, et cetera, et cetera, or whatever other people want to make up, because a lot of people are making up stuff today. You know what I mean? That has that are not nationalities, all right? And and, and all of that deludes to are things that deludes to slavery because of the lack of honor of your own mothers and fathers. Then, if you understand that principle, then when you get to talking about judicial matters. And then you know that the first issue at hand is identification of the parties and status of the parties involved. Then you understand jur- juristically how and why the law of the land was scribed dealing with diversity of citizenship, because that's really all it is dealt with, is the diversity of, of, of citizenship and a nationality, of course, the only national are us in terms of being tied here. But uh, that this is why it was written. This is why it was scribed. But if you don't have the principles and divine principles first, then you can't, all else will not come unto you and you will not have the understanding and you'll just be talking, talking heads, showroom dummies, and all that kind of stuff. I used that terminology. It was a song called Showroom Dummies by Nirvana. And I, and I just came to my head there, or talking heads, because you lack those principles to be able to take into scope and understand what is being said, what is going on, and what is even being said right now, and or what is being said. So then you find yourself, you know, talking uh, 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 without having the basic fundamental knowledge because you, you didn't, you don't know it. We don't know it. All of us don't know it. That's what this is about, not suffering from a lack of knowledge. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. if we wanted to find what some of those divine principles are or how to get there or what to look at, I, you know, there's no doubt that Prophet Noah Gerard Lee definitely shared those, shared those with us. So... Um, and, and, and I heard you mention kidnapping, <laughs> and I thought maybe this would be a good time uh, for, I don't know, I think it was you or an aide, or, I think it was an aide that gave the original meaning for what kidnapping, even though kidnapping, it, we use it now, but that I remember you pointed that out. Huh? I said, I remember y'all pointed that out the other day. Well, and it has, she went and did the research on it and, and that it really was about their children being kidnapped off the street. Actually, it wasn't their children. I believe I believe it was this, um, it was all modern Europeans. It had nothing to do with us. Um, I don't know, maybe Anna E will want to share that. And, and then we'll understand why we're telling people they are kidnapping you, not just because of this definition, but because they're not, the government and they're not the law. And see, that's the most disturbing thing is, as you mentioned, Ms., is that when you go and, and there's adversity to that, which is fact. Like, I got an email the other day, something to the effect of, um, you know, why would I have other instruments when the law says I need to have this? So I'm like, well, or, or you know, they, 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 they uh, what's the word? When I look? They hinder you and really harass you. And, and really violate you um, if you don't have the instrument they want or whatever in terms of, you know, traveling or really they're just looking at it. They're only looking at it from a driving perspective because they're uh, upholding the code statutes of, of a corporation, which is what they all are. So that's really all they're looking at. It That is why it's more and more for more to understand and for natural people to, to over, understand and understand the difference between the two, you know, um, but, you know, then there's problems that come with that because you start thinking, well, oh, my goodness, what will we do if we have the freedom to to just, you know, jump in our conveyance and go where we want? Well, see, now, you know, it's almost like, well, wow, we can do whatever we want. We'll act stupid. No, that's not civilized. That's why this is about civics. This is about civics for civilization, for civilized people. And so if you don't know civics for civilization, for civilized people, then maybe that is exactly what needs to be studied, which is why this is the civic organization, to learn those things and then include the word civilian, you know, just to look at it and review it. 
meaning you're skilled in the law. So, you know, it's so it's not that it's so much, it's just that principles are missed. Principles are not applied. So back to the kidnapping thing, because, you know, they they'll think, oh, well, what do you mean they kidnapped the law? They broke the law. You don't even know the law to recognize that the law was not broken. The only law that our people are breaking is the divine law. That is true. And so I guess in a way they're right, because if you break the divine law, then I, all else will fall apart as well. So Islam. Oh, that was, that, was that was hot soup right there. Say what? That was hot soup right there. Oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And another thing is, too, people need to understand, and I hate to say it, but, you know, it's the truth that in, in I would say, I don't want to say, I say that um, there's a class of Europeans who have painted all moors with the brush, and I don't want to say we're colored people, but they tried to do that, you know, um, have put us in, in the category of if they ever rise, we fall, they fall. So, like, they're looking like if moors really rise, Europeans really fall, and they don't want to see that happen. So, I mean, it's an interesting dynamic because at the same time, you see them, like, bias on Islam. It's nothing new because, you know, it was something they always aspired to. So it's like the little, it's like the high schooler who always talking about somebody they really admire, you know, and they got jokes and all these things, but it's secret. You know what I'm saying? They got the feds with Islam on it, you know, and all of these things, Mecca, Medina, et cetera. Um, You even have one with Baghdad on it. And it's like uh, at this time where they've been in seven core Islamic states, or I know they just made a modification to it. I don't know what that is yet. I need to check it out. But, um, you know, it wasn't really targeting all Muslims or all Moors. It wasn't built really for that per se because, like like we said before, you know, there's more still coming from Morocco, you know, Tunis, Algiers, et cetera, and there's no, quote, restrictions, quote, unquote. Now, even though it's unconstitutional, look at how the rest of the world to look at us right now. Like, you got a European, as much as we know this is our land, making orders to put a, a, a dividing order or wall on our land and what's and, and is that just going to like I don't I don't even want I don't know what to say about that but you know these are things that are happening and they're looking at it like oh y'all really must not know what's going on you know for those who don't get the fact that there's a certain group of people who have the agenda to list us as quote unquote enemies and um, contrary to the fact that that's unlawful, like a lot of things that they do, do. Um, contrary to the, to the Constitution, the treaties, these are violators. So they have a whole nother military agenda, which warship is even, that's what it's even about. Like when you look up warship, they're talking military tenures. So you need to understand that these are, forces that are still in play, you know, and um that's that's not a joke. That's why there's a lot of Moors that are in um lockdown because they're they're exercising military ops on this land already, you know, and people are like thinking it's something that's gonna come. Like it's it's been here, you know, and uh we need to recognize that Again, the duality factor of right and wrong is always existing in this situation. So, with that, I yield the floor. It's mom. Mom, it's mom. All right. So, um, being that this is Freestyle Tuesday, anyone has a comment, a question, or concern, 
that you'd like to put on the table, press one on your cell phone dial, and we will take the callers in the order that we receive them. All right, we have caller seven two zero five two zero. You're live on the air. Alrighty. Uh, our next caller is four four three three seven six. You're live on the air. Peace and greetings, family. I am Hassan Ghazi, Obey, Northwest of Mexico. How are you? Yes, um, um I was just uh, just calling just to ask everyone, uh, uh, well, two things I wanted y'all to speak on. Um, one was the uh, right to travel, and two, the idea of a uh, uh, quote-unquote Moorish Congress that has been crossing my eyes and ears. I yield the floor, Islam. Peace and love. Um, well, why don't you speak on that? Because I don't know anything about it, and you sound like you do. On the right to travel? And this so-called Moorish Congress. Yeah, I was trying to get some, some clarity on it as far as what um, how that ties into what Prophet Noble Drew Ali laid down and or not so that, you know, it can be brought to the record because I don't, really know anything about it because what the prophet said was enforce the constitution okay but you said you're putting it on the table we don't know anything about it so how did you find out about it it's something it, well there's something on facebook i was talking about morris congress i had to remove myself from it from being a, a admin i was volunteered to it so I didn't what think is it, it the principles of what of what prophet noble so what is had it you said, what, what is, it? is it? I don't, I really don't know. It seems like uh, a readjournment. That's what it seems like. And I don't really think that was something I really wanted to be a part of. So I really okay, wanted so to get basically, it. You're just putting this on the air and you know nothing about No, nah, not, not, not really. That's why I'm asking, like, what is a Moorish Congress? Could, could the family give me I don't an know. idea about it? I don't know. You, you brought it up. I don't know what it is. I'm not. Uh, I'm not on it. Facebook. Indeed, I, I'm well, asking you, what did you see written on Facebook about it? What I'm What I'm trying to figure out is necessarily what What is it? You know what I mean? When I first came across well, it, we can't we can't talk eyes. about it unless you know what was written on Facebook. You're telling us your opinion now. Mm, You're it's, telling it's us like your with opinion. The mindset. You haven't. You haven't told us what is it that's written on Facebook that you that you saw. What what was what it was was what I saw was something dealing with conference calls and a Moorish Congress. I didn't want to <laughs> find myself associated with something that right. I didn't agree with. So I was asking the family, what did they think of somebody you know beginning? a Moorish Congress or something like that, because I'm, I'm unsure of it, personally. Well, well, we don't know about it. That's what's being said, is we don't know about it. And then when you get into Moorish Congress, Congress means to walk together, to walk with, Congress, all right? Mm-hmm. It was already established. The Congress is already established with the um, uh, Constitution. The Moors walked out of Congress out of the Equa Federation. And what year was that in 18, what, 60, 61? 61. So therefore, say about 10 years later, because that disbanded, quite frankly, the U.S.S. So about 10 years later, they came back up as what? Corporation. Mm-hmm. Right? So this is why we Indeed. keep telling the people you're dealing with corporations, not government. When you're dealing with them and you already know you can't be a citizen of them based on the law of the land. So the law of the land is not suspended, and it is there whether people walk under it or not. All right? Mm-hmm. The, the, the divine response, the Constitution is written in the principles of divine law. 
And really, that's not really our constitution. We already know that. We already know that. We established it for, F-O-R, for, enforce the constitution for the United States of America. And and this proper state brought them into the fold of government. But it didn't bring you into the fold of government because we were already that. So now if that if that if they were they broke or they disbanded or they ignored the republic, now they want the republic back. But whether they they, they have it back or they don't, Moors are still who they are. And the treaty is what we deal with, which is why that particular constitution deals with our, our Article Six ties you to the treaty between these people who are acting crazy. And then flip the script and got us acting crazy. <laughs> I'm going to use that for lack of a better word. So if someone says they're starting to no murder this Congress, Congress, what is that? That's the same thing I'm asking now, that despite the energy. Know. What that we're I saying felt, is it's not more Facebook. And another thing, if it's a conference call to discuss it, that's really like ridiculous as well because the truth of the matter is, no matter the truth is, if they talk about dealing with judges and, and supreme law, uh, uh, supreme law being divine law, then you know they have to be dealing with the Mohammedan judge, and the Mohammedan judge is you know uh, uh, the chief mufti. So if any of those people have no conference calls, do not do not have the degrees to be a chief mufti, then they can't be jack. In terms of Moorish, so that I hope that was an answer that. <laughs> well, I, I just, I, I just, I just on too. All so right. We have to also, um, like look at the the tactics that are being used to do the divert attention because they yeah. know that this is a um, social media society. Right, they know that this mm-hmm. is a social media society, so things are gonna are are going to come through that platform, right? Things are gonna come through that platform that is geared to get attention. Yeah. Right. Just based on the language, just based on the imagery, just based on the whatever it is that they think they can use to tap people's subconscious mind just to keep that thing there in their memory, right? Now, Mm -hmm. like, I'm coming from the generation of if me and my friend are going to link up, I go to his house and knock the door. Right. Like, you know, phoning and texting and stuff like that. You get on the bike, you ride to your friend's house, you ring the doorbell, his mom's going to answer, where's whoever. I know, you know what I mean, messages through through these mediums. Like, everything was direct contact where, I, where, I, where I'm coming from. You know what I mean? So limited, limited contact with people and maximum contact with technology is going to create a, a, a jurisdiction of miscommunication automatically. Broken telephone. Mm-hmm. Right, automatically from the start, you know. So yeah, we might be on there, but it's a specific purpose as far as that that arena. You know what I mean? That's why I go in there and talk to you about their moms and whatever, because that's virtual reality. That's a reality that's virtual. So it's not really reality. No different than law that's color. It's not really it's not really law. So you know what I mean? Fruit vegetables with no seeds is not really natural. <laughs> so so why deal why deal with it? Yeah. You know what I mean? Unless it's for a specific purpose. So yeah, we got GMO stuff. We could use those for something. Might not be to eat. But you'll find some use for some Non-rottening apples or whatever. 
you know. So like we have to we have to wean ourselves off that crap called social media. I think you might be right. Uh, go ahead. That social media crack is is the real crack. You people worry about crack. Forget crack. Social media is the crack you need to worry about. Mhm. Mhm. Once you get held on that, like you're done for. Once you get held on that, once once your <laughs> once your mind once your mind um re reconstitutes itself to be able to perceive that small screen in your hand like it's a big screen, you know that they got you. When looking at the screen in your when you're looking at movies on the screen in your hand and then you think about a movie theater and there's no difference, like it doesn't matter, you know that they got you time to wean off the crack. Mm-hmm. But you can't have a screen in your hand and have some headphones in and think you're at a movie theater. That means they got you. They got you into. They got you in your subconscious mind. Yep. That 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 they got this guy who you say you know you're a hip hop guy. Make these special headphones for these guys. Sell the headphones. Now Illuminati's got the headphones, using them against you, brainwashing you with your boy stuff. <laughs> yeah. And Juali told you that your own's gonna put you in slavery. And everybody got them headphones right now. Yeah. Uh, you don't realize that there's no other headphones, but those headphones right now, there's no other headphones. Nobody, every DJ uses those headphones. Every radio station, whatever you, they got them headphones. Everybody has shoot got those headphones. And all that again comes from that whole thing with that that um, technology era, that Skynet. Just plug something in your brain, everything will be all right. Don't worry. Because <laughs> computers gonna computers taking charge right now. Don't worry, just put that thing in your ear. Don't worry, it'll, it'll sound it'll sound so good. You think you're actually in it? Yeah, yeah. So they're doing that with info, right? They're using these right. these mechanisms, right? And and again, it goes back to the to the same thing of, you know, that's why we're supposed to have libraries. Because there's nothing like reading a page. Forget screen. Yeah. Get get, get two get two things. Get get a book, right? And then and then get something on the screen and tell me if you don't see that there's a difference in the energy that you get from the lesson. That you get from the screen compared to what you get from the book, the hard copy. And see the difference. Mm-hmm. And, go go and, and go yeah. get a go get a vinyl go get a vinyl play a vinyl record and then play <laughs> a, a MP3 and tell me which one sound better. Mm-hmm. Right, mm-hmm. but uh, but everybody's been trained to go artificial to the point where they even call themselves something artificial, Negro, Black, or whatever like that. And then they're <laughs> in a reality that's virtual, which is artificial, and then they think that's real. You know, and then they're going to soon have some stuff that they put on glasses and, you know what I mean? And crazy right now, crazy. But again, it's also a good time for those who are in the know, for those who have their mind open and their third eye open and all that stuff. It's not really that crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> things, are, things are moving according to plan. <laughs> yeah, right. Because, and, and you know, the, and your point is, even when he's talking about this, uh, Morris government, what, what happened is they, they found out that uh, uh, that Morris were in, in Congress, uh, uh, you know, originally, in, 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 and the president there of the, uh, um, the vice president of the United States, let's say, as opposed to the United States of America, you know, was the uh president of the Senate or something like that when you really read the uh, 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 the Constitution. So they said, okay, Moors are in Congress. We're going to start being, we're going we're gonna to create a Congress again without even knowing how all that came about. <laughs> that, that was just an extended arm 
that you know was sort of like a um, what's the word, word I want to use like a, 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 a outreach or extended arm because more is a private uh, in that respect, but that was their representative, so so to speak, of what's going on with this with this uh, a quasi-national um, domicile and, and that we established and allowed to be here. That I, like I said, that abandoned their ship. So, you know, they got us thinking it's the other way around. We just don't know what our ship is. That's our problem because we haven't studied enough. So they're like, okay, they'll get excited about that. Let's tell them they should start a Moorish Congress and put that on the air. If that, like I said, a Supreme a, a Muhammad judge is a grand chief mufti, and if he was, if there was one there, they would not be on a conference call <laughs> trying to start a congress. I mean, you know what I'm saying? This is divine. We're all going to come together as 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 needed need to be. And it's very, you know, I mean, divine. This is now I'm here. Go ahead. This is this is exactly what I was kind of sort of talking about at the beginning of the broadcast because in, you have to think about what is the intent of somebody who presumes to start something called a Moorish Congress. Congress. <laughs> what, what, what is the intent? All right? Yes. Because clearly you're attaching Moorish to the word Congress. It, it, because attaching it is going to have some super significance. And the only reason for that is because you don't know what Congress means. And you don't know who the Congress is. Because if you right. know who the Congress is, then you would know there is no need to attach Moorish to it. Do it. <laughs> so we have to what is what is what is the intent? And as I said at the beginning of this broadcast, we have people who are so busy wanting to be noticed and so busy wanting to be recognized, they want to be seen. That's their yes. entire agenda. They don't give a crap about nationality, birthright. They don't give a crap that we have people like Khalif Browder right now going through what he has been through right now. They don't give a crap. Nope. All right. They just want to be seen. They want to be known. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's why they're all on Facebook. That's why social media is successful because our people are obsessed with their own ego. And what yes. did the prophet say? Draw a circle around your passions and square up your conduct. But you can go on Facebook and you see people just talk, talk, talking. They mimic what the prophet has said. They know every word of what the prophet says, and they're on Facebook, talk, talk, talking about it, but ain't doing jack shit. And we don't yeah. care if you do something or not, because it's your lesson. Your lesson. Whether you do, whether you find yourself or you're busy trying to find other people, it's your lesson. Mm-hmm. I don't understand why people want to indulge in foolishness. And you got, like right now, you got this seven-part series regarding Khalif Browder going on documenting stuff that I can't watch, and you got people wanting to indulge in foolishness. Really? A Moorish Congress? A Moorish Congress. What's worse? What's you know, worse? You know what? It's just, it's just another distraction because let me tell you what's going to happen. It's going to be a mob of people who join the Moorish Congress. 
because they want to be a they, they're so lost. They, they're not trying to find themselves. That's why things like the Moorish Congress can attach, they can attract them. Because if you're busy studying, you don't know nothing about no damn Moorish Congress. Hmm. You ain't got time for it. You you ain't looking up from the book to see it. Hmm. Or at least you would know that that doesn't exist. <laughs> right, right. You want to, it's right. Because if you study and then you know Moorish in Congress is like saying Moorish in America. It's the same thing. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.
it's and I think that wasn't to distract people. Me personally, I believe that things like Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat and whatever else they got out there that I don't know about, all designed to keep people distracted and caught up. As long as you involved in that, you definitely ain't cracking open no book. You definitely ain't sitting there trying to meditate and find yourself. I think busy it's looking at everybody said. else. Right. I think it's what Kuja just said. But things are going as they right. they ought to be. Yeah, because th- those who know will know not to be there, especially in these crucial, 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 cu- crucial times. Because this information been out for a while, and it's principled. And as I said earlier, I don't care what you do, if those principles aren't in line, if nothing else is going to matter. And if the principles were in line, you would know how to deal with the crap that's on Facebook and would be able to understand that that's their new way of grabbing and diverting the minds of the mortal who are unconscious. And I guess some conscious, I don't know. But this is what they're using because... Remember, and we said people will talk and put all of their personal information out on Facebook, all of it, right? They have no idea who they're really talking with. They do not realize that there's, there's infiltrators and agents who say things, um, who, who purposely, you know, influence these things, uh, the, the, these social media type things. They, they don't even realize who they're talking to. And get yourself caught up in some, but what does it mean? In essence, as you're saying, Anna E, that means they're not really doing the studies or doing what they are supposed to be doing um, for self. Because if you, this is why the prophet said, look, uh, I've given you enough information to save a nation, save yourself. Because as we said, when you start multiplying how many people are saving themselves, then all of a sudden, here we all are. And then as Kujo's saying is here here we all are in as the, as is supposed to be. You know, whether we see that or not, it is there because it's really a divine universal connection. And regardless of the I guess tough love or seeming like I'm incompetent for the record for the time being, I asked and posed the question the way I did. About the Moorish Congress, no matter how, however it is, I look. But I appreciate the tough love and response. But also at the same time, I, I, your, your response that what you gave uh, this mm-hmm. evening, family, is is, is kind of what I, I knew y'all was going to say because when when I first saw it, honestly, my re- initial reaction was wow because I, I I I'm listening closely to y'all. So my studies do consist of reading blog talks and uh, the videos. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Something went out. I think oh. something went out. All right, yeah. Well, no, 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 he, he dropped. He dropped. Oh, all he right. Dropped. Well, Maybe he can get back what? in. Anyways, we'll take the well, next caller. But, yeah, let's just take it. Cause it's, yeah. yeah. Indeed, I just wanted yeah. to say, I just wanted to say, too, with all the, like, trash that be on the social media, not for nothing, not to be braggadocious, but, you know, Mrs. <laughs> Use 29 is also, yeah, you know, to contribute to some substance along yeah. with King of Land Moors, et cetera, and active Moors. Because I, I know, as far as me, it's a lot of stuff on there I couldn't, I couldn't watch. And they say that, you know, well, sometimes if you want change, you got to be the change you would like to see. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, that's why we... Do what we do. Put out the truth through many different mediums, whether it be this blog talk, you know, the website, and in different posts. Like mm-hmm. we're here for that. We're here for substance, not not you know the BS. It's a it's a difference. You yeah. Know? And and if yeah. I could add that we do have a MHHS eyes wide open eyes wide open blog talk Facebook, but uh, the only reason we use that is to do just what you said, just as with Mentors Views Twenty Nine and um uh, uh uh what is it Mo- uh, um Moorish Nation Public Records um uh, and MoorishNews dot com to put out substance a substance and substantive information and maybe those who are on that. Uh, stream, if you know, 
Maybe they'll catch it and it'll wake them up or something. But that's that's what we use it for. So, all yeah. right. All right. Know. Our next caller is uh, Brother Bukhari. Islam. Islam. How are Greetings. you feeling? First, yes, that's that first oh, question. I, <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks Better? for asking. Uh, um, I am much better. I uh, I tell you what, those herbs are no joke. Uh, I want to say, yeah, I want to say thanks to everybody, uh, a mother Anna Eden, a mother Roz for sending the um, for for your assistance um, because it has definitely helped. Um, I mean, just in a couple of days of uh, uh, taking the herbs. I, you know, like I could feel the strength, you know, coming back in my body, you know. Right. Um, you know what I'm saying? And uh, feeling, you know, feeling. I'm not totally out of it yet, but I am much, much, much better. So mm-hmm. thank you, uh, you know, for um, for that. And it has also helped me to renew uh, my uh, studies on uh, uh, herbs uh, and what they can do for you. Um, right. But I wanted to make a couple of comments. I wanted to make a couple of comments. I don't have a question, but um, uh, first of all, wonderful show, honor to the panel. Um, and uh, uh, one of the things that I wanted to, you know, talk about and, and touch on quickly is the uh, 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 nature and enslavement. Uh, one of the things that Miss Raheem mentioned about animals, putting them in cages, putting them on leashes, and all of these types of things, uh, fish bowls. Um, I I've been thinking about that for a long time, hmm. and you know it's you know like a, 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 and that type of mentality. I know that this is going to sound really strange to a lot of people because I'm sure that there are a lot of listeners that have pets, but when you have a pet, you know, uh, uh, whether or not it's reared in captivity, essentially what you're doing is you're doing something for your own enjoyment. It doesn't really involve the pet. Now, certainly there are some pets that are, uh, uh, you know, that were abused, they were put in shelters, and and you want to help them out. But generally speaking, um, for instance, like having a large dog in a small apartment, you know, what you're doing is you are shortening the lifespan of that animal because if you can't let that animal run around in nature at an extended period of time, um, you're shortening the lifespan of that animal. I mean, like the average wolf, like, of course, all of the domesticated dogs certainly aren't wolves, but the average wolf has like a 20-mile, 20, 25-mile, square-mile a, a, a roaming uh, territory, um, and so uh, certainly, uh, again, uh, domesticated dogs, small dogs, and cats don't have anything near that. But they, you know, still um, there are certain things in in, uh, uh, in terms of freedom that they don't have, and certainly they they won't be able to you know recognize those things um, because they were bred in captivity. And why do I mention that? Because that is the same thing that happens to individuals who call themselves nigger, Negro, black, African-American, etc. Those individuals who can't recognize that that is not their natural appellations are bred into that, and therefore the vast majority of them don't have the mentality of a free being. That... They'll always be looking to have some form of master, somebody to feed them, somebody to open the cage so that they can have time outside the cage. And after a while, they'll always come back to the cage because they are enslaved. They are domesticated. That's their mentality. So I want to I want to jump to the next. Um, uh, 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 topic that I want to briefly touch on This Moorish Congress and I, and, and I want to touch on that next Because of the fact that If, if, if you're on Facebook And you're going to be discussing 
a serious issue that pertains to <laughs> something that deals with government, then you have to recognize <laughs> Facebook is a, like Grand Chi Cujo mentioned, <laughs> it's, it's virtual reality. Yes, it does put out wonderful information, um, just like YouTube does, but for the most part, uh, uh, there are a lot of knuckleheads on there that you can spend hours and thousands of, of hours wasting your time sifting through it. But Facebook and YouTube is monitored. It, it's monitored by the alphabet gang, you know, like the individuals who are directly involved in generating Facebook. I mean, they they monitor everything on that. So, I mean, I would not be in – I wouldn't even <laughs> – if I would have seen something like that, and, and I'm glad that the brother brought it to our attention, but – you know, it, 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 I want to jump quickly to the next point. It's like if, if if somebody asked me to be involved in some form of activity that deals with others who share my nationality, the first thing that I generally ask them, okay, send me something in writing or, or send me an email that breaks down the who, what, where, when, how, and why. Who are you involved with? What's your plan? Um, you know, uh, uh, who are the individuals that are in control or, or, or involved in this, et cetera. Because I, because I, I want to know that before I spend my time with you. You know, and I want to briefly share something with everyone. I'm not going to name any names, but not too long ago, uh, uh, I was invited to, to take part in a certain organization. Um, and my first question was, Okay, what are the companies involved? Uh, uh, what's your plan? Uh, you know, what's your focus? Send me something. I need to have something. Send me an email with that information. And shortly thereafter, they asked me to send them what my plans were, etc. And I'm still waiting on their plans. Now, you asked me to take part in this, but you haven't sent me anything. So I don't know who the hell you are. I, I don't know what your foundation is you know all I have is your word which means nothing um, because you haven't taken the time to put anything in writing so therefore you really don't have any structure so these so so these are some of the concepts that when people contact me dealing with issues consultations uh, etc they 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 can't fathom these things and they become upset because they don't have certain protocols, uh, uh, certain types of, of ways of, 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 of dealing with individuals in a group setting, you know, whether it's Moorish nationals or, 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 or whether it's asking somebody to fix your fence or, or hiring a, a, a contractor. I mean, like people spend, uh, uh, the average, you know, individual will, will spend more time filling out a resume and, you know, creating a, you know, a cover sheet for a $50,000 or $60,000 a year job, then, you know, then they will invest with more that they've been talking to for years. And this is part of the, 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 the you know, the, the issue from my uh, perspective in, in terms of more that I have been dealing with, some of the more that I have been dealing with for the past three, four years, you see. Uh, uh, um, mm-hmm. They don't ask certain questions. So, so, so when I so when I deal with a more, and they don't ask me certain questions, I already know. Like, I'm not saying that I'm better than them, but I already know. Okay, this is what category I'm going to put that brother or you know or sister in. Because I didn't come into this movement, you know, just to talk crap on the phone, and and be on conference calls and 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 and, and, and whatnot for the rest of my freaking life. You know, like I didn't, you know, send out documents to, you know, to 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 all manner of of institutions, both national and international, um, just so that I can sit on my ass, excuse my language, and 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 get on YouTube and Facebook and you know talk nonsense. No, at you know at one point I got in my conveyance and drove 17 hours to go visit other moors. You know. Mm-hmm. To you know, try to establish relationships and actually, you know, not for short term but for long term, 
and, and, and this is one of the things that makes me extremely frustrated with many Moors that I have talked to or, or that have contacted me. The, the, you know, I have seen many things, witnessed many things that I feel are, are, are really childish in nature. Don't expect, me, you know, because you contact me or, or because I contact you that you're going to agree with everything that I see and believe or know. But there, but, but there has to be certain solid truths that stand at the foundation of, of, of the Moorish nation that I adhere to that benefits not just Bokhari, but all Moors. Mm-hmm. If I am visited by a, another Moor and he has children or he and his wife or his uh, a, 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 a partner, matrimonial partner, has children and they're going to eat at the same table that I eat at. They're, you know, they're going to eat the same quality of foods that I eat at or, 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 or that I am going to be digesting. That's how I think. You know, when, you know, when I think about, um, you know, like, if, like I am not with a Moorish woman. Like I don't have a matrimonial partner. But if I had one and, and if I had children with a Moor, uh, uh, um, another more, I would feel that I'm going to do certain things to to you know ensure that my children have a certain mentality as they grow, their their physical well being, and I feel it's important that the same type of mentality should be shared, or concern for other Moors' children should be shared, and these are some of the things that should be focused upon. First and foremost, let's let's establish relationships. Um, you know, let's let's communicate with each other. You know, like you know, too many Moors have this naive mentality that they're going to come into this movement and 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 they're going to raise their hand or you know they're going to start watching videos and and they're going to have a few conversations with Moors and then things are going to jump off. No, it doesn't work that way. You have to put in work. You have to put in work. You know, like you have to get to know people. You you have to establish, you know, some sort of foundation. Like you have to do things. You know, like you have to put out some videos or, or, or write some books or build some literal fences. Like, you know, help some people. Buy some shoes for a child in your community. You know, maybe there's a Moorish mother and, you know, and son that is not doing too well. Give them some fiat. You know, maybe they don't have clothes for the winter. Give them some clothes for the winter. You know, maybe there's a, a you know, a, you know, find a, a Moorish science temple that you can donate to or find some other kind of Moorish uh, 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 entity that you can donate some fiat to or some time and some energy. Stop talking all this damn nonsense about what you want to do and stuff, but you're not doing anything. You, you have to do something. You know, Moorish Heritage and History School does things on a daily basis. They affect people's lives. There are too many of us who do too many, you know, who, who, who spend too much time listening or want to talk to Moors, and then when they finally get a Moor that, that, that they can talk to, then they want to argue with them. You know, then they want to tell them how they think things should be done. Nobody <laughs> wants to work anymore. <laughs> You know, and and, and, and and this is extremely frustrating for me, and I know that I've taken up quite a bit of time, but I had to get this thing off my chest. You know, we have to stop these, you, you know, these types of behaviors that don't lead to any substance, you know, that, that, that doesn't produce any kind of uh, 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 benefit for our children. You know, what are we doing for the next generation? That's what I like to ask myself. What what activities have I done since I have proclaimed and declared my nationality that is going to benefit the next generation of Moors? You know, I mean, you know, I wonder how many Moors ask themselves that question. What 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 type of things are you know are you doing as an adult Moor? male or female, masculine or feminine, that is going to lead to some sort of beneficial 
uh, uh, activity or, or produce something for the next generation. I, and I respectfully yield the floor. That's wrong. That's wrong. For sure. And again, like the breath was said, this is why we do what we do. And um, important, like you said, for the next generation, you know, and even to hear the opinions and, and the views of the Brethren is inspiring because that's what it's about. I mean, and it's not to neglect anybody alive now, but it's about, you know, what we're doing now for the next generation because when we get into the depths of who we really are, we might be that next generation we're talking about. The ancients return back again, back again. You know what I mean? So who's to say you know, next century, we'll all all of us will be back linked up, right back on this line. Who knows? I don't know. You know, um, and and talking about the history that we made today, like I, I don't know if that's too futuristic to grasp, but I'm just saying that, you know, it's beneficial to make moves now for the future, you know, past, present, future kind of like all intertwined. So we're dealing with the history for present day to do things in the future. And that's just what it all boils down to, you know, for sure. Slime, Morris. Brother Sorry, thank you so much for that. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to take our next caller. Caller 803-290, you're live on the air. Islam, this is Tar Hassan Jarrell, calling from near Orangeburg, South Carolina Territory. Peace and love, fam. What's up? Peace and love, noble. Peace and love. Um, I know, like me, I don't deal with the Social Security uh, number, things like that, but on the Social Security uh, Administration website, uh, Sister ITL, she found... Uh, on the program operation manual system, and it said what documents are not evidence of an identity, I mean, identity for a Social Security card. And you scroll down, you talk about, like, different corporation IDs. You can't get a Social Security number with it. And if you scroll all the way down, she put it to my attention. Uh, you go up the bottom and say any identity card document issued by a fictitious governmental organization or a private organization that purport to be governmental organizations, e.g. Morris Counselor, Morris National Bureau of Vital Statistics, because it is based on allegations alone. For more information on commercial identification card operations, CRM than 10210.725. So, yeah, she put that to my attention. She brought that to my attention. I don't deal with the Social Security number at all, though, but she had brought that to my attention. Well, who's the Morris Consulate and the Morris Vital Statistics? I do not know. I do not know. It's on the Social Security Administration website. I do not know. Okay, well, I can say this to you because I've seen some identification cards, and I can only give my opinion of them. It didn't say Morris uh, Divine National Movement. It didn't say Morris nope. Science Temple. No, it did nope. not. It didn't say any. Uh, uh, they, they called. I, I'm a, I'm going to make this. Per, I, I don't know because I don't know what they are. I do know that the Morris Vital Statistics is 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 as asinine. It has not. Morris shouldn't have a vital statistics. If we exactly. understood where vital statistics came from and what that was, that it's a Christian uh, uh, a setup, and my, and Liz has explained that on one of these shows be, broadcast before, all right, where that comes from. So this is what I, we always say. Our Moors take what we're going to call a lodial divine information and always try to fit it into corporate constructs and language. And so with that, it can then be labeled as such because they try to take it and fit it into that. So Morris Vice Statistics, that's one of them. Um, yeah. uh, Morris Consulate, I don't know. I don't know what a Morris Consulate card. I don't know if I've ever seen one. I've seen certain <laughs> cards. We've seen certain cards. We've seen certain documents, and they're colored. 
You know, like yeah. uh, just a couple of weeks ago, uh, someone was showing a nationality card that has a barcode on it. Now, oh. the barcode means product. So this yeah. is what I mean. You take Mars information and try to fit it into uh, corporate and commercial constructs and then wonder why they're always being beat up in the brow because juristically they're out of order. Jurisdiction, they're out of order. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it, so, so yeah, I don't know what the Moorish Consulate card is, but I can probably guess that it has some colored information on it. And when I say colored, I mean in color of law colored. You know what I yeah. mean, right? Black, All right. Yeah. Yeah, because they profess that. See, here's the problem. If you know the laws of identification, uh, 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 they are the laws of identification. And as Aboriginal people, Aboriginal and Indigenous people, we have the right to establish our own identity, which must be respected. And, and, yeah. and that's a fact. But instead of us establishing it as being you know, uh, who we are, no, we're going to establish, establish it under some Moorish consulate, Moorish vital statistics, which could be considered fictitious because if you look at the language on most of those things, they're not government. They're corporate. They're, yeah. they're talking corporate. Okay. All right. So that's because we know for a fact, and you probably do too, I'm, I'm assuming or presuming right now, is that if yeah. you have a proper identification card, if you know what it is, like even yeah. the identification card that we are, does it say, uh, does it have a club on it? Nope. Does it have an organization nope. that it belongs to? Nope. Why? Nope. Because it's your identification. That's why. It's not yeah. our identification. We're a publishing company, and we establish it in, in, in that way. But it, it it's not, you know, a lot of people say, that, oh, RV, RV base IP. Well, you know, maybe it's throwing a word out, you know, a phrase. But it's not our identity. It's yours. It's You're right. <laughs> they haters so, anyway. Right. So you have people who want to own something. You can't own a nation. You can't own someone else's identification. Anything that's written, anything that's written, including an identification brief uh, card, is a brief that yes. expresses your position. But so, therefore, you can't own someone else's identification. No, you can't. And this is what they do. So, now, what you're saying to us this evening is that they're now making establishments on what is and what is not. At the same time, they don't have a, a right to do that. But when you go into law and lawful things, then you look at some of these uh, cards and different documents and stuff people are putting out, they themselves confess and profess to be out of order <laughs> and out yeah. of law. All right. Peace and love to that. Peace to love. Right. Oh, what happened? Did he drop oh. out? I'm sorry, you dropped out. We didn't hear you. Oh, sorry. That was me. He said peace and love. <laughs> I said peace and love. He was not. He wasn't finished. But it's a we. we oh, all right. Um, Islam, did you finish? I thought it's I heard you. Yeah, finished. I just wanted to put that to your attention. Peace and love, fam. All right. All, all right. right. Thank you. Uh huh. All right. All right. Uh, next caller. Caller eight zero five nine one zero. You're live on the air. Islam family. Islam. This is Tomwell oh, Ill. Uh-huh. In the uh, Northwest of Mexico, Khalifa territory, I want to give all thanks and respect to all of you who are active more doing that which is divinely called for, and uh, give utmost praises to Allah and to Noble Ali who brought the measure for us to identify with so we can practice in that which we were born to be. Um, the subject matter tonight, being buried, is quite interesting. I have some, I guess, just say some points to make. I really don't have a lot of questions at this point because a lot of the things that are being said are very true. Um, the confirmation that I'm finding for that in spirit is taken from what people would consider the holy book, the Bible, ancient scroll, ancient scribe, ancient information, um, to most law. Um, in Second Timothy, ironically, Timothy 3, 1 through 5, it talks about the difficult times that we're in. 
And it says this, but realize this, that in the last days, difficult times will come. For men will be lovers of self, lovers of money, boastful, arrogant, revilers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, irreconcilable, malicious gossips, without self-control, brutal haters of good, treacherous, reckless, conceited lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, holding a form of godliness, although they have denied its power, Avoid such men as these. From among them are those who enter into households as captives, weak women weighed down in sins, led by various impulses, always learning yet never able to come to an accurate knowledge of truth. Just as Janus and Jambres opposed Moses, so these opposed truth, men of depraved mind in regard to the faith. This is really interesting because this is a time that we're living in, and it also mentions in the first part of that, uh, second part of that chapter, it says that we that there are ha- there is in a house, there are vessels of silver and gold that are worthy, but there are also vessels that are not so worthy and dishonorable. So we're living in a time when we're in a house where we have the disagreeable and the agreeable. So as Kujo said, it's not going to be a surprise. It shouldn't be a surprise of us of those of us who can identify with what Ephesians says um, about our purpose. So when the Christ spirit or the energy that we know in the noble jolly, it was, it, was, it was performed, ascended, there were captives and hosts of captives, but then he, left, he led man into gifts. So some of us have these great gifts, and we use them, and then some of us don't. But those of us who have those gifts, we are no longer to be children, tossed here and there by waves and carried about by every wind of the doctrine, by the trickery of men, by the craftiness and deceitful scheming, but speaking the truth in love, we are to grow up in all aspects into him who is the head. So this is brought out in one of the most ancient publications ever known to man under the title Unity of Spirit. There's our formula right there. And and, and the antidote to that is to be imitators of what, uh, this energy represents, as Sister Annette said, we've got to we got to wake up. It says, "Wake up, O sleeper, and arise from the dead, and the Christ will shine on you." That's in, in Ephesians fifth in the fifth chapter, and the fourteenth verse. It says, "Don't be participating in unfruitful deeds of darkness, but instead every ex- expose those particular things, and if it's disgraceful, do not even speak of them." So, what are we doing as Moors? Are we are we engaging in these things that we're bringing into our spirits and into our vibrations, these things that are creating a, what is called an obstacle for spirit to work with us in order for us to be enlightened? So many people are spending so much time doing all these things that are just deterring the point that we're here for. So if we're really serious about this, that we're being called to, to be here for, then we need to stand firm and armor ourselves up, armor meaning that in love, Um, girding with truth, putting the breastplate of righteousness. So all these things that this holy book says, this book says that people sometimes evade because they think it's churchiosity, there is truth in here. And this is the same truth that's in the Holy Quran of Mecca and the Holy Quran of Muhammad. In all of the holy books that we all know in every nation that has been brought to us as Asiatics, there is not one excuse that we really need to have with regard to this measure. We got to wake up. That's what Johnny said. So what kind of vessel are you is the question. You know, I leave this with the Moors because we've got to figure out what we are. We've got to know what we are. Who we are. are we prisoners of this darkness or are we going to elevate ourselves to the light? And with that, I yield the floor and I, floor and I am grateful for the conversation this evening. Islam. All right, Islam. Thank you so much for that. Um, Indeed. You added on. Say it again. Did you, did you say something? I said we thank right. you. Added on. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Before I take the next caller, um, I just want to um, update people because the the I, I don't know if anybody was a bit unclear about what the brother was talking about regarding the social security card, but I didn't have a clue what he was talking about. Uh, but what I did was I went and I Googled, I went to the Social Security Administration Corporation page 
and I Googled Morich in their search engine, and what I found was, now from their manual, it's called P-O-M, P-O-M, P-O-M-S, Program Operation Manual System. Everybody ought to be clear that the Social Security Administration is not government. They're a private corporation that the federal government hired to administer the Social Security Administration program. Social Security is supposed to be a voluntary program. It is it is federally funded. Read the Social Security Act. We're going to have a, a gushing on that at a later, later date, and we're going to go through it. But read the Social Security Act. The Social Security Administration Corporation is supposed to be working for the people. They don't tell you jack crap. You tell them. They work for you, all right? So they have here um, what documents are not evidence of identity for a for an SSN card. Now, first of all, don't nobody need no Social Security card, all right? You do not need a Social Security card. Now, when you scroll down to Section 3, it's a list of questionable documents. All right, questionable documents. And by the way, one of the questionable documents listed here is a a vehicle registration, voter registration. So that should be telling you something right off the bat. But if you go down, scroll down, it talks about uh, any identification card slash document issued by a fictitious government organization or a private organization that purports to be governmental organization, and then in brackets, this guy, e.g., Moorish Consulate. Now, I'm going to tell you why they're absolutely correct with that, and here is Morocco. You do not have a consulate office in your homeland. So if somebody is issuing documents on American soil, talking about there's a Moorish consulate, that is some fictitious organization. Then they have the Moorish. (laughs) No, say it again, that you cannot have a consulate on your own land. You cannot have a consulate on your own, on your homeland. You have consulates in foreign lands meaning it's not your homeland. So if there is somebody who started up a Moorish consulate and is issuing documents talking about they're a Moorish consulate and they're on American soil because Moorish and American is synonymous, then that is some fictitious organization, all right? Now, and then they reference the Moorish National Bureau of Vital Statistics. I don't know what the hell that is because vital statistics is code for registrar. We talked about this on a previous broadcast. And if you're registering the body, that means that you're registering people as though they are cargo. That is fictitious. All right? Now, I want to end with this. This is because it is based on allegation alone. Allegation alone. Allegation alone. Now, now here's the problem I have with any of these things in front of you. A piece of paper cannot be more valid of who I am than me. So, to me, I need to sue you for slander. Because to me, you just call me an idiot. I'm standing right here and you're trying to tell me that a piece of paper is more valued more validation of who I am than me standing in front of you. That's slander to me, right? And then it says in brackets, for more information on commercial identification card operations, see RM10210.725. So I click on it, right? 
commercial identification card submitted as evidence. Commercial identification card. I don't know what that is, but we as more, we ought not to be engaging in any commerce. So what is a commercial identification card? What is that? If you're saying that if you went somewhere and paid for an identification card, that's a commercial identification card. Well, I don't know any so-called driver's license or motor vehicle identification card, so alleged identification card, that is free. So that must be a commercial identification, so-called identification card, too. So we got to learn to think. These people, what they're really trying to say is we ain't accepting nothing outside of our little group, our little network of family members that want to make sure, have a job, have a means of generating some revenue. We're not accepting anything. We're keeping it in the family in terms of generating revenue. You're going to come to us. We're only going to accept stuff from our family members. That's what they're trying to say. So, uh, and I'm not saying that people need to be going and getting a Social Security card because you don't need it. They're not government. There's no law that says you must have it. But you need to be able to see things like this and analyze it and see it for what it is. That's all I'm saying. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right, so um, <laughs> too much attention put it on, on that, especially now. I mean, you know, there there are some people who already have and are getting benefits, and of course, you know, uh, whatever they got to do to do that because it's nothing but a, a trade name that the uh, that they that they would sign a little deal, their, their their proper um, signature with it if they're still getting um, you know, getting the benefits. But you know, why you say it's nothing wrong with dealing with anything as long as you know what it is you're dealing with. You know what I'm saying? And do you have to do right. it? The problem is, right. the problem is in the last three things you said. One, the, the, for instance, the consulate. Why do they, is it that they don't know that you don't have consulate on your own land? Or is it that they actually think they're on foreign land? So either one of those reasons are, are horrifying because they're not. And then, what you're saying here is, is we know that we've been groomed to think that the Social Security, the IRS, and what's the other one, that they're all um, government entities. They're not. And that it's mandatory when it's a contribution, which by its very meaning means it's voluntary. And we put up on the site the things on the, about tax savings. The thing, the thing that's supposed to be posted at every job that tells you it's mandatory and you can terminate it when you want. Right? That's right. Oh. That's right. And 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 some 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 um some of these um uh, union states um what they're what they're doing and you know, this is crazy because what they're talk they're they're trying to say um they're not accepting any commercial identification cards, but. They, some of these motor vehicle departments and motor vehicles, because a lot of them are shutting down, they have contracted to like um, AAA or um, uh, other 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 uh, uh, corporations where do your registration, renewal of registration, and driver's instrument. So because. That would that would classify AAA as a commercial identification card provider as well under their policy. You see what I'm saying? They're trying to say, oh no, these these moors. If you're getting anything from the moors, then that's a commercial identification card. Well, all of these people, except Social Security Administration, I think it's the only people who don't charge you for Social Security for their cards, right? They're the only ones that don't charge you for their car. But everywhere else does. So everything is a commercial anything. All right? 
it's, it's all a, some sort of commercial something if you're exchanging some sort of sort of reserve note. So don't act like that and identification is a driver's license because you have to you have to buy that too under threat of life. <laughs> How about that? How about that? How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Don't even get to start talking about that driver. We should do a whole thing on the driver's license. Oh my God! Yes, I mean, oh. you know, oh. that whole driver's license thing is the, the biggest racket going on. And you know what? It's, I just need to woosta every now and then because because. That right there, we shouldn't be talking about nothing but that driver's license and and and, and registration for racket. Cause that's yeah. what it is. That is a racket. Oh. And yeah. I just I just don't understand how. I mean, I understand that we've been mentally conditioned. I do. I do. I do. I I was part of that mental conditioning, but. Something never really seems right about it. And then as you get to learn about the Constitution, the American Constitution, and you see how it all came about in being written down, the reason that the American Constitution was written down was because there were people here who needed guidance. They needed to be able to pick it up and read it. Step one, step two, step three. You know, they needed that. That's why it's written down. But the American Constitution, I, it was written so that the, all people would be protected of their liberties by every single corporation on American soil, including every state and federal corporation or contractor of the state and federal corporation. I don't understand how today, how many years later, people think it's all right for every single corporation to reach into your pocket and take every penny and take the food out your mouth and your children's mouth, throw you out onto the street, make you homeless, beat you up, take your life, and it's all okay. This is what the Constitution was written to protect the people from. This is exactly what the people are supposed to be enforcing. But the people lie down. It's like they just roll over and play dead. And they allow it to happen. Sometimes we can talk until we're blue in the face and people will sit there and say, amen, and get up and say, hey, Mr. Police officer. How you doing today? Well, you got qualified. I mean, that we're gonna wake up. Oh my God! You know, I remember years ago, Spike Lee had that movie that I thought it was the stupidest movie. The only part of the whole movie that I thought made sense was at the end when he was just crazy yelling, "Wake up!" <laughs> Do the right thing. Yeah. I think it was a do the right thing. The only part of that movie that I thought made sense was at the end when he was yelling at the top of his lungs, wake up. Like, people, I don't care if you're a Moor, if you're a modern European, I don't care if you're polka dot, red from Mars, from the depths of the earth, wake up. Oh my God! Mm-hmm. Wake up! <laughs> and 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 I was saying to qualify when you said you know say hey Mr. Police Officer you know because one they're not officers but aside from that that they, they are not law enforcers either. I know, but I said that I said but hey, I said, Mr. no I'm saying people are, because yeah, you know, we will have if people will listen to this entire broadcast we'll break down what an officer is. We'll break down yeah. what a police is. We'll break down what a municipal corporation is. We'll break down that a municipal corporation is not in any way, shape, or form government. We'll substantiate it with their charter. We'll 
substantiated with case law. We're substantiated with the Constitution, and everybody will listen on the call and say, amen, and get up, and tomorrow we'll say, hey, Mr. Police Officer. (laughs) (laughs) All right, I got you, I got you. I was saying there may be people who, well, you're right, because we do it all the time, who don't know that they're not government, they're not law enforcement, and they're not officers, you know. But, you know, that's what study will do, you know. (laughs) Crazy. But anyways, let's take the next call. (laughs) Call it 562-686. You're on the air. (laughs) Islam. Islam, mother. Um and brothers and family. I am uh, El Mario uh, Amorde, and I wanted to, yeah, I'm standing, I'm standing here on the earth with my, my, my bare feet, and it's a beautiful, uh, Virgo is rising, the moon is beautiful, she's in Gemini, and uh, I just wanted to, to thank you, um, much gratitude. The the Morris Congress uh, we, we started the Morris Congress uh, it, it's not really anything beginning or anything it's just a continuance and a camelback on what was being done with Great Seal with, with with your work R V Bay a publication Rosmaria Ani Ms Rain we are we're not uh, it's just our family. Really, it's our family, a, a, a small enclave of those of us that are on the same on the same page, you know, just congressing, walking together. And it, it, we we do have a hard time, um, you know, making it clear that Facebook is not the place to be. But we're trying to, you know, kind of sort through all the confusion. And together, you know, those of us that are that are on the same page have come over the last, you know, I guess decade, just coming in. Um, those of us that have been on Facebook trying to, or any social media, we're trying to just get together now and just continue that work. But it's not to um, establish anything like the, or charge anybody for anything or. You know, our our mission, our our vision is to be able to, to do something real for the people to to give them. Uh, if we were to have a university to to give to to pay them to give them finance, because there's so much finance on the table, to give them finance to come into this movement, not just you know uh, live off of them. But we apologize if, if there was any confusion about it. Um, but it is more Congress is redundant. Morris American is redundant, and we're completely aware of of the history and the law and the ancient principles that, that we're standing on. So, you know, but forgive us, you know, if we if we um, made any misstep, we disarmed, and you know, we're <laughs> we're trying to get to that that place um, of, of you know complete. Uh, transparency. Yeah. And well, just, just wanted to. Mm-hmm. Well, it sounds like someone may have confused what your intent is from what you're saying. That is just like maybe you could say, um, Congression of the Moors or something because saying more, you know, I think we're, you're getting it clear. Because one thing is for sure is that, you know, if you say Moorish Congress, well, we don't know what you're intending. We'd like for you to, you know, to share that with us or email that to us uh, uh, as far as that what, what that is. But people are taking it as the Congress from, 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 from the Constitution without studying really what that is and then think they're starting this Moorish Congress, you know, and they're going to have Moorish judges and all this kind of stuff like that. <laughs> That's how they're misconstruing. Now, part of the reason why they're misconstruing it is because they themselves have not studied. But in essence, what 
in essence, in terms of just like you said, having people come together and us come together, that's what all of this activity is. As a matter of fact, that's what the Moors Divine and National Movement that was yeah. established in 1913 by Prophet Noble Jarali was really about. And the Moors Divine and National Movement of the world, not just here, of the world, of was the world. You know, yeah, that's right. It's like an umbrella for all Moorish, true Moorish activity that would go on. So, so people are construing, well, construing apparently your intent because it says Moorish Congress um, to be as if your your group is starting up the Congress without you know again, and we already explained it. So, I mean, you know, I'm not I. Now maybe if it says uh, Congression of the Moors, that might 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 sound better, and they might not even put the two together. But meaning that we're walking together. But that's what this is all about. So they're misconstruing your intent, I guess. But we would like, if you would, to send. If you do, I don't know what it requires for someone well, to be a part you know of what. what? You're well, we were. You know what? This is this is um, El Mario Day. You also oh. have like a MHHS study group, right? Moore's Heritage and Houston yes. study group, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. We, was, we wanted to talk to you anyway. So we wanted to talk to you anyway. So what we'll do is we'll call you, you know. Yeah, all right. Uh, at another time, you know. We'll, oh, I'll, that would I'll be beautiful. It was a good time I'll to talk honored. with Thank you. you. Yeah. yeah. Anytime so, you, um, you call me, I'm yeah, take the call. Anytime. Twenty four seven. Oh, I was. All right. That sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Then I know it's the progression of the wars. <laughs> then that, you know what I mean? I was just saying. <laughs> well, we'll, yeah, we'll correct it for sure. Thank you. It's well, long. we'll talk. See. All right. We'll talk later. Okay. I was just going to suggest send yeah. us what the intent is, and maybe we, you know, and we can figure out what's the confusion is. All right, sounds Real wonderful. All, All right. right, peace and love. It is not peace and love. Is not peace and love. All right. I never saw All right, before. caller. You know what it's like. No, right. This would be the spot. I'm not. I might have spoken maybe one time before, but long time ago. But anyway, um, next caller nine seven two eight three nine. You're live on the air. It's love, family. Islam. 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 Yes, indeed, Islam. This is Brother Abdul Malik Shakur Bay. I'm calling from Northwest of Mexico, from the Texas Territory. Islam, another great show. Islam, Ms. Cujo, if he's still online on his voice no more, but I'm no, I know he is listening. Uh, I'm going <laughs> to read a few paragraphs, and uh, you all can sum it up to what our majority of callers that was calling. The gifts of understanding are the treasures of Allah, and he appointed everyone his portion, and what measure seeming good unto himself. He had endowed thee with wisdom. He had enlightened thy mind with the knowledge of truth, communicated to the ignorant for their instruction, communicated to the wise for their own improvement, True wisdom is less presuming than folly. The wise man doubted often and changes his mind. The fool is obstinate and doubted not. He knows all things but his own ignorance. And I'm going to start right there, and I'm going to go over here to the young man was was reading about the Social Security, and, and at the bottom he said, scroll down, they were talking about the more sound temple. Uh, I'm going to read this here. Uh, on uh, chapter 48 at Ayat 4. It states, the Moore Sign Temple of America is a lawfully chartered and incorporated organization. This is a legal opera institution that what the prophet said, uh, it has been chartered. It is on the books. So I don't know what these other so-called uh, imitations, I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to draw people in fiat. But do not be misled because the danger of not knowing and not having knowledge and setting will lead you down separate road. Islam, that's all I have to say. Islam. All right. Islam. 
Islam. Islam, no. Islam. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, let's see. We got thirty minutes. And uh, let's see, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please press 1 on your cell phone dial. And we'll take the calls in order that they're received. Um, and let's see, next caller is caller 4, four, uh, four, um, four, four three. Three seven six. Islam, I think Islam I got Islam got disconnected. Islam, I am Hassan Ghazi Obey, Northwest of Mexico. I think I got con- uh, disconnected. The last thing I wanted uh, the family to touch on um, was the right to travel. I was looking over that Title Forty Nine, and thank you for touching on the, um, the whole clearing up of the terminology of Moorish Congress. I'm glad that was finally um, completely brought to the table. Um, but I was looking at Chapter 49, I mean, not Chapter 49, uh, Title 49 of um, the United States Code, and um, I'm, I'm finding something pretty interesting, on, and it, it actually distinguishes um, Code Subsection 104, Federal Highway Administration, and then they have one in Code 105, National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. So, so I see that in, in one language it says federal, and the next one it says uh, national. And I was hoping, um, uh, Mother Anita, you could shed a little bit more light on what the uh, distinctions are there when, they, when they're talking about the administration of um, so-called transportation and how that ties into the right to travel. I yield the floor. Uh, well... I, I I would like to just say this before you enter that. Um, uh, wait a minute, hold on. Give me a second to find it. There is a well, actually, he's saying federal because it's really interstate and interstate. I believe that's really the answer to that to to that question. Um, you might want to add something to that, but I wanted to add that there is a national. Remember the the case law. Where there is a um, wow, I can't believe I can't find that. There is a national government, uh, two governments. Those who are resident within any state, resident within any state. That's not us. Have uh, two governments. One's national, one is state. But there's no um, a conflict between it because that's what the Constitution does. Is 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 uh, that's the supreme law for both. But as far as in Title Forty Nine, and you might um, want to answer that. I believe. Uh, you were explaining that one is uh, intrastate or inter and intrastate. Is that is that the um, the difference with the federal and the national on the um, Title Forty Nine? Uh, uh, I I don't know. Um, federal administration I don't know. And, and and national. I I I I really don't know because I. Um, Title 49 is a federal program, so I don't know what context whatever was read is being is is, is being read in, and I don't know what the subject of that particular context would be about. So I can't really comment. I just what know section? that the um, Title, 40, Title 49 is a federal program, and the state. It's the states are not the author of it. They just get to participate. That's all I know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. you know, without going into great detail, that's all I know. I don't know. What section? What section did you talk? Did you name a section in that, brother? What yeah, was I was, the section? I was looking at subsection 104 because I was just reading through it um, briefly yeah. again, and then I just, it just stuck out to me that uh, 104 – uh, subsection 104 says Federal Highway Administration, and then 105 says National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. And it just seems like there are many different uh, administrators and deputy administrators, so to so to speak, with, uh, I guess, with uh, that's under the Secretary of, of Transportation. Okay, Federal Highway Administration and National what? National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Oh, yeah. And I'm trying to figure out 
Yeah, they used federal in the first one and then 104, but then used national in 105. Well, if it's a federal program, which it is, Title 49 is a federal program, um, then I guess there's, there's a distinction, as I said, between fe- um, national government, state government, uh, um, uh, in that um, the Federal Highway Administration Again, it depends on what it what it actually says. What is the sense of the sentence? Because it would say to me that you know nationals and national the land you know is not confined. In fact, in fact, no one is confined to that federal program, um, Title Forty Nine, unless they are in fact a driver meaning they are not traveling. So you did say national highway travel. Say that again, national national highway. It, but it says national highway traffic, so that's still dealing with commerce. All right. So I'm not national speaking just in the language. Well, might, might, might be, might be, because, you know, you, you might be doing, uh, you know, business or whatever. But so what you would have to look at is the sense of the sentence and what it is actually saying. And keep in mind that obviously there's, you know, there's national, there's state, and then uh, it's a federal program, a federal program specifically for drivers. All right? Indeed. Indeed. I yield the floor. All right. So we have to read the sense of the sentence and what it's saying, and it's making the distinction. Islam. Islam. Thank you, Mother Rock. Islam. It's fine, Peace and love. 104. All right, I took a note of that subsection 104. All right, so All right. Uh, it is 12.08, and I don't believe we have any more questions. And no one with their hand up with a question. Nope. So... We can um, wrap it up with uh, some updates, and then we can just end the broadcast. Say that again. I said we can wrap up with some with our um, announcements, and then we can just end the broadcast. We've got about twenty uh-huh. minutes. We got about twenty minutes left, so um, we uh, let's see. We'll be doing class. Tomorrow, live at the National Theater, just the second Wednesday, and we'll be there the following Wednesday, that's the third Wednesday, and then the fourth Wednesday we'll have uh, Abdullah uh-huh. doing the etymology. This is, a, uh-huh. this, is, this is Pride Wednesday, so I don't know. We'll have to um, wait and see what the fifth Wednesday will um yeah. Bring. Not sure you. Mhm. So make sure, sure and. Huh. I said yeah, right. We will have to wait. We'll have to announce that because I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, make yet. sure and stay tuned because we have five Wednesdays this month. So make sure and stay tuned. Either listen to the blog talk, uh, check the MHHS Facebook page or the Moorish News dot WordPress or the RV Bay Publications website, and we'll be letting you know what, we, what if anything, we'll be doing for the fifth Wednesday of this month. We'll see you tomorrow if you're going to be coming to the class. Doors open at 6.30. Class begins at 7.30, and I believe that's it for tonight. Islam, yeah. everyone, thank you for joining us. Oh, I knew there was one announcement. Today is the 7th, and remember, the new year, remember all things begin in spring, and the new year is going to be either the 20th or the 21st, so let us plan our New Year's Eve party accordingly. Islam, let's not be... 
Go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead. No, my fault. Go ahead. Go ahead. Please finish saying what you're saying. And I then I want to ask let's you. Not, let's not uh, <laughs> uh, uh, participate in this fraudulent fiscal end of the year party and then totally leave out the true new year, which is March 20th or 21st, when they say, one of them, check the calendar what, for what accuracy. And make sure we have what? It's just a matter of being on one side of the earth or the other side of the earth. That's really what it is. So, right. You know, it's call, call it the eve, if you will, but 21st is usually what is acknowledged here on this end. That's the true right. new year. So, yes. Yeah, so check the calendar accordingly so that we can have our true new year. Eve celebration. All right? All right. Mm-hmm. And this your Yes. <laughs> yes. I wanted to ask you because I asked you all. I don't know if it's just me, like, because you just mentioned, you know, our new year. But my question is, and I sincerely mean this, like, can y'all really feel it, though? Like, because I could feel it. Like, I feel like my energy is, is rising. I feel great in my spirit. Like, I can literally feel the spring coming. Um, And and it's like a natural connection. And I usually do, like any other people, you know, feel it around the time it's coming. Like, I can actually feel it. My energy is is feeling like it's vibing high. Um, And and I feel a natural connection. I can't explain I just wanted to know, does anybody, you know, actually feel it coming uh, opposed to knowing it's coming? Like, I actually feel it. So I just wanted to say that and put that out there, you know. If not, you know, I understand, but I just wanted to know, is it just me? <laughs> no, it's there. It's rising. And, uh, uh, you know, it, it's definitely rising because this will be the ascending as you look at it in astrology also, we're not talking about necessarily the time, but um, the actual energy of what is happening um, when you look at the wheel to ascend. And then what is a- and then what is April mean right after that? I pre, what does that mean? That's when the earth was to be open, right? I pre means to yeah. open? April? Mm-hmm. And April, that's when yeah. Earth, the fruit, yeah. That's when the earth, right, opens and, you New know, season. all the powers. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Very intolerant. Oh, also, I wanted to say on that note, you know, not for nothing, um, we was mentioning parties. Yeah, we need to plan accordingly. But also, there's a Morris Ball going on, Morris Master oh, Red yeah. Ball, April 1st. I got to say. Um, information should be on the site also. Check yeah, out May to be twenty nine within the next like forty eight hours. That should be up uh the video explaining the details. It's really short of um of what the dress code is and you know what's going on. Um it's a event put together by um Sam Rodney's wife and uh you know, this for more is this on the east coast or whatnot. That that should be uh Something that that should be considered, I would say, because you gotta remember too, Noble Dry League did costume balls, so you know that is in this in the social aspect of Moors, something you know we should look at and, and consider. I have, I, have the, I have it right here. I should just read it you know, real quick. There you go. Yeah. All uh, right. Yeah. Set Ron, his wife, Severina. Um, more truth and more unity presents the Moore's Masquerade Ball Saturday, April first, um, nine to two to eight. You April said third and first. I said first. Oh, all right. April I you said first. Uno, one. April one. April first at nine p.m. to two a.m. at the Temptation Banquet Hall, two eighteen West Shelton Avenue or Shelton Avenue, excuse me. That's in Philadelphia, or at Philadelphia. Food, cash, bar, music, dancing, and raffle. Tickets are 40 notes per person. 
Moorish garb or formal attire with mask. Purchase the tickets online at HTTPS more-masquerade.evenbright.com. And I'm going to put this up on the site. And the password there is Shekamixum, which is what Philadelphia actually means. So I'm going to put the, put it up there. Might be kind of fun. So you're supposed to put your mask on, Masquerade Ball. Um, yeah. But also I'm going to be putting the video up too because, yes, you know, don't 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 sleep on that. But um, he was mentioning something about the dress code being a little relaxed uh, and, and being more enforced for the next one, but definitely no sneakers, no none of that. Like, you got to come with it on. And um, I, the video will also speak for itself. So hopefully uh, we get that up and you can refer to the um, embed that video as well or put the link there. Oh, all right, yeah. And okay. about what the dress mm-hmm. code is and why it is, mm-hmm. what it is, just going to be next year type of thing, um, you know. So, yeah, it's a, it's just, you know, it's an event for Moors to enjoy each other's presence and in a good time. Um, I believe I recall him saying that since it is a cash bar and you can look at the hours, it's not for children. So don't bring the children out. It's an adult, you know, party. So keep that in yeah. mind. Yeah. 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 So with that, look for this. All right, with on. that. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much for listening, for joining, for participating, for providing building, for growing together as we all love the form humanity. Peace and love to all. Peace and love. Ah, that's cool, Joe. All right. <laughs> Our problem is lack of knowledge and the intended deceit and trickery done because even though to read the uh, uh, Biblio Teela said, did you call the Bible? to teach a fool even the most elite. So even those who think they're highly educated and this and that, they've been fooled. That's it. It's not really complicated. It's the miseducation of the Negro. Everybody knows it's the those who need to know. It's the miseducation of the Negro. When we rise from the dead, they call us Pharaoh. It's the miseducation of the Negro. Everybody knows except those who need to know It's the miseducation of the Negro When we rise from the dead they call us Pharaoh The gods are back, the moors are strapped We waking up and we want our land back Running off, that's the trap, you know them gods don't like that Waking up from a nap, like where the hell my crown at? Take a step back, like I know this bitch ain't bite back It's kind of crazy how this karma is strike back We enslaved the slobs, so they slaved us right back We call them niggas, then they niggas this right back them the light, but they ain't bring that right back. If I was crazy, dirty dancing with the baby, then maybe, then just maybe we won't revolt like Haiti. I too sort low, but poor Marcus Garvey, your ass. No, but you, you are leading God body to man. Now I ain't gotta be bad, and you ain't gotta be mad, but the planet is heating up, so the first I'll be last. I got that melanin that's better than anything you ever for medicine. We at your front door, wonder why you never let us in. Oh, I get it, you never wanted to put some credits in. Well, just forget it, cause I don't know if you can edit sin. We've been enlightened long before Thomas Edison. Skeletons to prove that you wasn't even relevant. In the Caucasus Mountains, cause the sun was your deficit. Captain Caveman was the plan of the Jesuit. Check my bloodline, but it's time I bring the evidence. Self-governing body, so I don't need no president. Democrat, Republican, donkey versus elephant. I studied the law, so I ain't down with none of that. I self-law and master, so I'm running that. This smaller child counts up first faster, so I like the match. Despite the fact that ain't even what I'm mad at. I fit the truth, so here's the roof, so you can yeah that. My skin is brown, and here's the proof, but you ain't hearing that. Dead in the eyes of the law, that's why they call you black. Naming all caps when you fall, that's why I strike back. And strike that from the record ab initio. You gon' need more than some pressure, I got a vicious flow. I can take the road to the high, or I can hit him low. Try to calcify my third eye, or you gon' have to go. Kim trails all over the sky, and you don't wanna know. Don't go on the side of my tribe, they coming no more. If you believe 
that you, that your history started on a sleeve boat, I can guarantee you that's where it ended to. That's what I'm saying. Then, after saying that, and so, believe me, go back and do some studies past the 1700s, and I'll guarantee you, sure as you're sitting there listening or whatever, wherever you are, watching, listening, you will find nothing but the word more. And that's another thing. Because we weren't called black. That the description, maybe, black or more or whatever, but but that's it. Know the difference between a description and an actual, you know, uh, uh, person, place, a thing now. I mean, really. This is the miseducation of the Negro. Everybody knows it's just those who need to know. It's the miseducation of the Negro. When we ride from the day they call us Pharaoh. It's the miseducation of the Negro. Everybody knows it's just those who need to know. It's the miseducation of the Negro. When we ride from the day they call us Pharaoh. From the pyramids to the project. The beginning is the part they want you to forget. Implant your memory with that noose around your neck. It's the king out for planning it's set in full of fat. The butler, the help, in 12 years, the slave. Django and Selma, they get them accolades. They made a movie called Exodus about the gods and kings with an all-white cast from Egypt. Now that's the same. They ain't never seen no movie about no European slaves. We were traveling the seas when they was living in caves. We had to civilize them, show them how to behave. In fact, we brought them light and taught them how to bathe. This is trading places with stolen identity. We agreed to be educated by our own enemy. Reverse psychology, I'ma need a lobotomy. The next is just some just to get this shit up out of me. Ross Mariah, Anna E, Miss Raheem, Tariq, Cujo from Cannon Land. Listen to them speak. I done learned from the best. I don't need no DNA test. The nations in my womb has given from the breath. The empire's back, so you know what's next. The moors are waking up, now you must confess. Yes, yes. The moors are waking up, now you must confess. Birthright theft. The whole deal was, where's my land that, for them, uh, the whole deal was like, this is really quote-unquote promised land. This is really the quote-unquote heart of civilization. This is really uh, what what you might call Northwest Africa. That's what, And I say that to people so they can stop saying I'm going back to Africa and understand that they're in it. It's the Garden of Eden. That's what they had in Columbus's journal that they arrived Absolutely. in Eden. So what has happened is absolute lies. And, that's right. and the land of milk and honey is another terminology. So this now these things are important because as you're doing studies, and if it says the land of milk and honey, you need to know they're talking about the North American continent. If you don't know that, then you miss it. And that's part of our problem. That part of our problem is the miseducation. We have been lied to, lied to, lied to, lied to, lied to, lied to. Lied to.